Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we have a jailbreak tweak for you. Um, this isn't the most functional jailbreak tweak, if I'm honest, um, but it is kind of impressive uh, to see what someone can do with the iOS operating system when they're allowed to using a jailbreak. Uh, it's called Next Gen UI, and basically what it is is it's kind of a screen that you can navigate um, and create little nodes to put apps in and you know, kind of wander around. It's just a, a unique way of thinking of an operating system, uh, very much different than the normal iOS. So here I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough. Um, first show you how to install it and then show you kind of how to navigate it and how to use it uh, in case you wanna give it a try. In order to do this procedure, you must be jailbroken. If you're not, please click on the link below to be taken to our jailbreaking page. Um, then choose the device that you have and then the version of iOS that you have and do that procedure there. Once you're done and you have Cydia installed on your device, you can come back to this procedure to continue. Okay, we're gonna go to Cydia. And we're tap search in the bottom right, and we're gonna type in next gen UI. Uh, and it does cost $2.99, so you're gonna tap purchase. Log in with whatever account you normally use. Enter in your password. Choose how you would like to pay. Tap close once you've made payment and the purchase will turn into an install. Tap that, tap confirm, and wait for it to download and install. And when it's done, it'll ask you to restart Springboard. You're going to tap that and wait for that to finish. Once the device restarts, you simply go to Settings. Scroll down until you see Next Gen UI. Tap Enable. Um, decide on the settings you want. Let's turn them all on. Well, except for that. And you can change different themes and colors. Uh, override the settings and a bunch of other things, but for now I'm just going to do that and hit respring and wait for it to respring. Okay, and then once it opens up you'll see this weird looking spinning globe thing. Um, so basically what this is now is if you move around you'll see you have, um, you can go to all four corners, you'll see this just a big page with that little globe nob thing in the middle. Um, if you tap home when you're on anywhere but this globe it takes you back to the globe. If you tap home while you're on the globe or node uh, it takes you to all of your apps. The node itself, this big one, does that as well. Um, you can also search through your apps, etc. Um, and then also, what you can do is if you move away from this guy and you tap and hold, it gives you a little node. Now you can either tap app and then pick whatever app you want and that just puts it there in that node or you can tap and hold and tap app store, I think it calls it. Um, give it a name. And then you can add multiple apps to it. And now inside you'll see those different apps that I have put in here. And tapping on any of them gives you this fun little loading screen and then actually loads the actual app. Um, putting them next to each other makes them link. I'm not really sure what good that does you, but it links them. Um, and you can kind of just put them around wherever you want on this screen and then scroll to the ones you need, uh, etc., etc. And that's pretty much the gist of it. The really cool thing about it though is that it's just so unique and different. Um, not necessarily that it's very functional, um, but it'll definitely get people being like, what is up with your iPhone? So there you go. Enjoy.